Good afternoon. I'm Don Gross from Apollo Marketing. This afternoon I wanted to talk to you about how you develop a cut resistant product line. For our new product line at Apollo Marketing that are color coded by the ANSI cut level, we've done a lot of cut resistance testing. Today we're going to show you how, you how you do that test, how the test is performed, and what the results tell you. And you'll see that all of our product lines are backed by an exquisite amount of data. And these gloves are developed not only for their comfort, but also for their durability and especially for their cut resistance. In North America, the ASTM F1790 is the accepted test methodology for doing cut resistance testing. For the ASTM method, a specific style of razor blade is used and it takes 15 different razor blades to perform one ASTM cut resistance testing. On the TDM100, the first thing that step that we take is we mount the test material. This is the yellow glove and it's mounted onto the mandrel with the copper strip on it and then we place the razor blade above it in the holder. We tighten it down. We always wear cut resistant gloves when we touch these razor blades because they are very hazardous. Now we check the weights over here. For this test we've added 1800 grams of weight from our precision uh, weights. And now we bring the uh, glove material in contact with the razor blade and on the TDM100 we start the test. We're measuring the millimeters until it's cut through which ends up being 15.3 millimeters. That's the blade travel until the razor blade has cut through the glove material, made contact with the copper strip and is shorted out. So the cut levels are recorded in the lab notebook and then they're transcribed into an Excel document and we do the three different levels where this shows the long cuts which use the lightest weights in our test. This is the first thing we graph into Excel. It has a sharpness correction factor too. And uh, then we do the shortcuts, which the, uh, it's a lot lower on the, on the blade travel. This is with much heavier weight. So you do the, the long cuts and the shortcuts and then you go back and do one that's in between those two levels. So the third step is to do the the ones that are in between and you can see from the line that what you do then is you, you look for the place on the line where there's 20 millimeters of blade travel per the ASTM F1790 standard so you can either draw the line there and see that it's a little over 2000 or we think it's more accurate to use the equation of the line so we use the equation of the line from the 15 data points and we calculate that it's two 1008.9 grams which is an ANSI cut level 4. If you look at the code here we've done the ASTM test we've grafted all of the um, 15 data points we've calculated where 20 millimeters of uh, blade travel crosses the line of the weights and it, we come out with 2009 grams which is an ANSI cut level 4 well into the ANSI cut level 4 for an excellent cut level 4 rating.